So the first news, a uh, US rapper T.I. Is that how you say T.I.? Is I don't know this guy. Is he famous? He is relatively famous, yeah. Okay, and that's how you say T.I.? Yep, this is it. His, okay, T.I. All right, all right, yeah. let, me, let me just read the news. US rapper T.I. under fire after saying he takes his teenage daughter to gu um, wait, gynecologist? Is that how you say it? I don't know. Uh, gynecologist. Gynecologist every year um, to check her hymen is is still intact. Basically, a virginity test. By the way, this virginity test doesn't even work because you could lose your hymen in many different ways, right? Is that's correct? Like, please somebody let me know that that's not a very um, accurate way. Let me actually read the summary because this is very weird and disgusting. U.S. rapper T.I. has provoked outrage. No shit. Oh, oh fuck, I swear already, this this YouTube video is going to get demonetized, deprioritized, because I can't stop swearing. Um, but US rapper T.I. has provoked outrage by saying he forces his 18-year-old daughter to undergo an annual virginity test. Annual! So every year. Uh, usually, like the day after the birthday party she she's enjoying oh so this is her this is the rapper's quote so he's saying quote quote starts here usually like the day after the birthday party she's enjoying her gifts and i put a sticky note on the door um that says gyno gyno that's short for guy gynecologist okay like tomorrow 9 30. Uh, end quote. T.I., whose real name is Clifford Harris, told the presenters. The podcast episode was released on Tuesday, but appeared to have been removed um, on Wednesday afternoon after it went viral on social media. Social media users were quick to condemn Harris's behavior and express concern for his daughter. Okay, I have a few questions. I want to go beyond the obvious, like, oh, disgusting, bad, like, controlling woman. Like, no shit, right? <laughs> right? So, obviously, all of that, all of the discuss, all of that. The, th the two things that I don't understand is, one, how does he not realize that this is going to be met with such a big reaction? Like, it's one thing for you to be so insecure and so controlling over your daughter's personal life to take her to a doctor. Actually, I have three questions. To take her to a doctor every year on her birthday. Like, and if you want to be such an asshole, at least not don't ruin her birthday, right? On her birthday. So even if you want to be such a, such a dick... I'm just going out with the swearing now because this YouTube video is, is lost when it comes to all the algorithms the, with the swearing and everything. Please share our videos because YouTube hates us. Um, if you, why didn't, why did, even if he wants to be such a dick, why did he feel like, I could just say this on a podcast, like, is he so out of touch with reality and what's, no, what's acceptable behavior that he thinks that, Oh yeah, I could just say in this podcast, and people are like gonna be like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like if he, even the podcast, because if they felt if they felt like okay, we don't give a shit about the people's outrage, then they wouldn't have pulled off the episode, like they removed the episode. But the fact that they put it on and they're surprised by the outrage and they pull it off, that means they didn't realize that this is so wrong like they, they couldn't understand this is wrong this is my first question the second question is like what the fuck why isn't the doctor saying like hey i'm gonna do this for you like the doctor is not telling the rapper that this is wrong like who are you to tell your doc 18 year old daughter that she's supposed to be a virgin right what was my third question i forgot my third question i think the third question was about the podcast presenters anyways what do you think why is how did this guy not realize that this i mean he you're saying he's relatively famous so he should have known that this is going to go viral yeah i mean it's i think it's just one of those things where how sometimes famous people are just completely out of touch with reality they don't see the world the same way we do so they don't think that they don't just don't think their actions through hmm. 
Yeah, but here's another thing. Does this guy have a son? I wonder if he um, would give a shit if his son was a virgin. You know, a lot of so I I agree. Like when a lot of people say, uh, you know, feminism in some situations has gone too far, um, and you can find examples of ridiculous feminism examples. But then I think some people take that message a little bit too far by saying that women. Fit, have there is no bias against women in first world country that you only need women rights activism in third world countries right but i disagree with that like i think there are there are many cases that you can find in first world countries um i'm not saying obviously women have much have it much worse in third world countries and women and people that are not pay denying that and making it seem like women in first world country have it as bad as third world countries there that's ridiculous but i and and i do agree that feminism in many scenarios has gone f way far to the other side to ridiculous situations but to claim that there is no bias against women at all in first world countries i think it's ridiculous and this is one of those examples i'm i'm almost certain again i don't want to be 100 percent certain about anything that this guy would not give a shit about his son being a virgin or not right and this is one of those examples where in first world countries there absolutely does exist a bias against women that women are still seen as properties as these things that need to be kept pure um, that need to be completely separate for any anything sexual unless it's with a in a in a in a system that men have designed and have stamped their approval on and accept and it's basically it's kind of it's, this whole purity culture is treating women like property right they just basically say I get to treat my sexuality the way I want but you get to use or exercise your sexuality in these conditions that i have decided for you okay this is obviously a bias that exists and exists against women in first world country so be careful when you see ridiculous fem you know feminazis and stuff against women you know f stuff, feminist messages that has gone too far that doesn't mean that there is no point in still bringing up uh, women rights and pointing out bias against women um, in, in in first world countries while also pointing out a lot of progress that we made right like yeah just because there's still bias that exists doesn't mean that is we haven't made a lot of progress you ha also have to celebrate the progress women in western countries uh, in first world countries have uh, have it a lot a lot a lot better than a lot women elsewhere and that progress has to be uh celebrated okay just because something exists it doesn't mean it's equal okay people are like oh it's the same no it's not the same it's bad it's not the same how hard is, it, is that to understand anyways uh chris what else do, before i go to the top comments what do you think let me see yeah i mean i yeah, i totally agree that women in first world countries have they're still being discriminated against but it's certainly not anywhere near as bad as women in third world countries i mean you have the examples of the fetal heart bill the fetal heartbeat bill which thankfully was stricken down everywhere it's been so far that's another that's just one example of trying to control women okay let me see the top comments top comment is from mish alina is saying child protective services need to make a visit asap she's not even a child though that's <laughs> yeah i mean if she was a child then we need child protective services but to me it's interesting that she's an adult and her father she still wants to make her makes wants to make sure she's a virgin get out of there oh that was my third question i just remembered my third question how does she not know that this is not okay does she know and is she like in such a tight grip that she can't like she's been brainwashed to think that this is okay because i'm hoping that she sees this backlash and realizes that yeah this father is not a good dad like you get the hell out of there like i'm hoping that i'm hoping that the dad is more embarrassed by his own daughter than the public at large right because it's one thing to be 
embarrassed in front of all these people. It's another thing for your daughter to have thought that this is, yeah, do- my dad wants to make sure I'm a virgin like dads do. Maybe I, if, that, if that's what she was thinking, I'm hoping that she notices this outrage and realizes like, oh, my dad's a dick. This is not okay. I need to stand up to him. I need to get the fuck out of here. I'm an adult and I shouldn't be controlled like this. I'm, that was my third question. So I'm hoping that this public outrage, ma- you know, makes her realize that if she didn't, and if she did realize that, but she didn't have the um, the ability to react, I'm hoping now somebody is reaching out to her and giving him giving her some support. Alexa is saying he does know her hymen could be broken from extensive physical exercises, right? Yeah, I, okay, but I don't know how common that is. Uh, but I, that's what I hear, that that's, you know, just sex is not the only way that you could lose that. Uh, Corey is saying, is Islam a religion of peace? Why or why not? Corey, thank you so much for the super chat. But that's not the topic of this um, news item. But the short answer is obviously not. And you will see in our later news today. Why not? Okay. Um, let me see. Let's go to... Let's... Uh, why is this not loading? Let's let us load. I'm gonna look at the Facebook live chat while well, this is loading. By Camulus, Camulus is saying bias exists everywhere. I just hope that this binary way of looking, like I don't hope, like oh, well, bias exists everywhere. No, I mean there's bias exists everywhere, but there's high level of bias and low level of bias. Because sometimes when you try to fight against bias, against sexism, against racism, people might say like, oh, well, there's racism everywhere. There's sexism everywhere. There's bias everywhere. Yeah, but activism has proven to reduce these things. Don't just be like, well, this thing is everywhere. So who, who gives a shit? What can we do? Like, I'm hoping that's not what you're suggesting, okay? Because yeah, they exist everywhere. But they exist in some places much more than other places. And in places that where they are less, it's usually because of activism or economic development that you see them less. Okay? So it's not an all or none game. And just because something exists everywhere, that doesn't mean that it's not worth fighting against. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.